Hi, and welcome to this video on how to use a JavaScript control downloaded from the internet directly in AL. Hey, I'm Eric, and in this video, we're going to take a, uh, a random uh, JavaScript control uh, and see if we can get that to work inside Business Central. And um, I was looking at this and, and I thought, okay, there, there are, there's a lot of, a lot of business JavaScript controls you can find on my homepage. You can find a, a, what you see is what you get a editor f and stuff like that. But I thought, let's make it a bit more interesting. So what I decided that we should play with today is something called Babylon.js. Babylon, named after the, uh, the, the famous uh, capital city of uh, Babylonia in Mesopotamia, now Iraq. Uh, one of the seven wonders of the world, the, the Hanging Gardens of Babylon, but that's history lesson, so we're not going to do that. But Babylon is a way to, you know, put um, put 3D rendered graphics directly in your browser, and uh, there's some crazy stuff like the retro planet here. I, I like that. Uh, let's see if it starts up, and there we go. There's a something that comes into focus, a planet, and when we can do stuff. So wouldn't it be cool if we could get that inside Business mm -hmm. Central? Well, we got to try. And um, what I have done to, to, to get us started is that I have found a, a minimal um, example. Uh, so this it's perhaps hard for you guys to see, but uh, it's just a simple HTML, HTML file. And when opened, I get um, a sphere and a, and a plane, and that's it. So it, let's let's take a look at the at the source code for this page. Make it big enough so everybody can see. So if we look at this, we can see that okay, there is a bunch of scripts. So no magic happens without a lot of source code, and uh, this is it. Uh, so there's a bunch of code here. Then we have a bit of style. And looking at the body, we have a canvas, which one is one of the HTML5, new controls in HTML5, I guess they're not new anymore, um, called render canvas, and then we have a script. Uh, and that script goes on and on and on and on and that's it so the page that we try to if let's try to see if we can get this minimalistic demo inside business central to begin with so we need to get the scripts in there's some style we need a canvas and then we need to add this script so let's fire up so so the very first thing we actually need to do is that we need to grab all these. I grab them and I need to save them and save them somewhere good. And not to waste you guys time, let me find my trusty old Visual Studio code. I have done that in advance. So you can see that all the files here, ammo.js is just this file. Let's see if we can uh, make it big enough so everybody can see. Um, this is ammo, part of bullet physics to JavaScript. So we need some bullet physics. So that is now in here. Um, so what we want to create is a control add-in. So so let's start by adding a uh, create a new file for that. And let's call just call it Babylon.al. Um, and that's a control add-in. And the great thing about control add-ins is that they do not have a object ID, so we can just simply call it Babylon. There we go. Um, now we need to reference all these scripts. Because if we go back to our, let, we will simply use this HTML, HTML file as, as our, our plan, our, our, our plan of attack, how to get this in. So the first thing we need to do is handle all the scripts. Um, and we do that with the scripts command here, and I'll go
go and start and say Babylon forward ammo.js. That's the first one. And then I need to type all the other ones and not to waste you guys time as sometimes happen in food TV and stuff like that. I've cheated. So I've actually done this in advance. So I could just copy it in here. But now pretend that I type really, really fast and type all these and they're matching all those. Uh, look, notice that these are sitting in a folder in, in, in inside my uh, my package, uh, inside my, my extension called Babylon. So I need to specify the, the relative path inside the extension uh, to be the same. Otherwise, those scripts cannot be found. Okay, then um, the other thing we need is the startup script. The startup script, and let's call that Babylon um, startup.json. Uh, there we go. We got squiggly lines because we don't have it yet, so that's okay. And let's give it a, um, let's it's a horizontal stretch. Yeah, it can it can fill out all the space it can on the same thing on the vertical side. So let's just have it take up as much time, uh, space as possible. And then because we're not savages, let's make sure that we add in a control ready event so we can tell uh, the central when we're done preparing stuff. Okay. So clearly the next item on our agenda is the startup JSON. And if we go back to this one, we can see that what we need to handle here is we need to handle some style and we need to handle the canvas and then the script down here. So let's attack that uh, in the, we will add a new file here. New file, startup.json. Um, so all control that ends, uh, runs inside a uh, an iframe, and inside that iframe, Microsoft places a uh, a, a section, a div section. And uh, what I usually do is that I say HTML con container equal document dot get element by ID and the element we want to know is con called control add in. Um, and then I'm going to use the same trick I used in the dynamic HTML rendering. So if you followed that video, uh, great. If not, go back and look and then to see how we can actually dynamically do create HTML uh, stuff inside uh, and then control that in. So I'm actually gonna take advantage of that right now and say that the HTML container, uh, I wanna use the insert and this is one, uh, J send HTML. Um, and I want in one insert before end, that's the spot. And then wh what am I going to insert? Well. What are we missing? If we go back to the, to our, our our plan of attack here, we're missing the canvas. So let's simply copy the canvas and put that in here. So great, that's kind of enough, but not really because we, if we remember right, we had some some style sitting on this one. So we could create could create a style sheet and add that, but we can actually do that a bit easier because we could just add a style element here. So we could simply go style equal with a uh, hundred percent semicolon uh, height colon a hundred percent, always end the semicolon there. So now we just kind of added an inline style instead of creating a style sheet uh, file for that. Okay, there we go. So let's go back to our file again. So, so the next thing is the script because when you in, in HTML, when we just have a script script, that's actually gets executed at this point. So we'll just again, copy paste. This is, co this is coding by copy pasting basically today. 
So that's our entire script. Uh, I'll add it in here. And then we have one outstanding thing that we promised our add-in. If we go back to this one, we see we promised and then control ready. So at this point, let's file the control ready. So Microsoft.dynamics, this is the stupid one, dynamics.nav invoke extensibility method. Let's hope I got that right. Control ready. I didn't get that one right. Control ready. Wow. Um, oops. Uh, Invo extensibility method. I think I think we are we're golden. Okay. So let, let's try to compile. Let's see anything? No. Excellent. So what we need now is perhaps somewhere to actually show this. So let's add a new file. And the new file is just a, you know, the te test Babylon page. And this is, this is a page, uh, test Babylon. And the page type is probably just a card. And layout, area, content, and remember a control add -in. so even though this one is called a control add-in when you're adding to a page it's called a user control babylon and let's see we got babylon available because it's in our project always remember the application area uh, and let's check whether i've Got to put it in the launch JSON. No, it's there. So I guess the only thing left now is to hit a file. Let's try it out. <laughs> so I'm using a Docker based uh, sandbox right now. So I need to log into that because it's the first time today. Let's make this a, hey, look at that. So inside Business Central, we now have 3D rendered graphic and we can even, uh, we can even interact with it. So that's not bad for a bit of copy pasting, right? So let, let's just quickly run over what we did before we try to see if we can get the, the star thing running. So we created, a control add-in um, and we did that by downloading all the required uh, JSON we then took uh, we created a startup JSON in that one we make sure that we actually had the the HTML element needed in this case a can in this case a canvas uh, and then we copied all the the JavaScript code here. And let's take a look at that for a second. So there's engine and the scene and create default engine and create a scene and the scene and it has a camera and a light and a sphere. Oh, hang on. We want to make a small one. Let's, let's see what happens now. Now we're changing the size of the sphere, sphere. So it should be smaller. Let's see if that's the case. Um, I'll remember this was the size before. This is the size now, so smaller. Okay, so it, clearly we have some control here. So let's go back to this guy. Uh, not this, the sample, no, but this guy. Uh, because what I, we that planet looked really cool. So let's see what's actually here. Okay, no full screen, just sit there. So we have a, a lot of JavaScript here. So there's basically a function called create scene. And that's just one, one big function. Excellent. Let's put that into our, 
Oh, there's a helper function called RenSphere. That's okay. Um, into our clipboard. And back into Visual Studio Code. And remember this thing. It's also called create scene. So let's just call this one scene two. And after this, we will simply paste all the new stuff. And uh, let's hit a five again. Pop list, pop list, pop. This is exciting. Let's hope it works. That'll be awesome in first try. Um, if it doesn't work, I'm, I'm already getting nervous here. If it doesn't work, then we need to look at the JavaScript debugger. Widescreen, hang on, hang on, hang on. Bam, we got the planet. It's inside Business Central. We got something going around it. And, and can we interact with it? We can. So there you have it, guys. We actually have interactive 3D animation, animated JavaScript running inside Business Central. And all we, we did, Let's go back for a second. All we actually did, if we take away all the copy pasting, I think well, we, we typed in the control add in, but that was mostly just referencing all the files and saying, hey, four lines of uh, startup, stuff like that. And, and then we wrote two lines of codes up here to prepare the, the, the canvas. And there was a line at the end. The rest is basically just copy paste. So it's very, very easy to uh, to add these things. Now we could extend this one and add function to communicate with the 3D stuff. And uh, we could add in events. So when you clicked, you could get stuff back. Or if you had like a 3D uh, file sitting on your item cart, then we could potentially render that uh, on the item cart to show uh, show a three live three D rendering of, of items and stuff like that. But it's not that complicated to grab something. Uh, in this case, Babylon is open source, and and, and there's a lot of lots of help, a lot huge community around it. So there's a lot of resources out there, but grab something like that and actually get it to work fairly quickly inside Business Central. It's way easier than it looks. And I hope it looks easier here, actually. Uh, if not, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, let me know if you want more examples like this or we should take this and make it even cooler or I should actually try to do one of the boring business JavaScript things. Um, but. Follow me on Twitter, subscribe to the channel, that really helps. And let me know what you guys uh, think about stuff like this. Until next time, have a wonderful day.